just one day after it comes out that community manager for Star Wars Outlaws has something against white men. Ubisoft drops the story trailer for Star Wars Outlaws. So we're going to go ahead and check it out. What do you say about that? Each of you represents some of the most powerful criminal organizations in the galaxy. Mm -hmm. Pikes, Crimson Dawn, Huts. It's a golden age for the underworld. The Empire controls every corner of the galaxy, but they're distracted by a rebellion that won't quit. It's an opportunity to make millions. Okay, Vess. The underworld's favorite new scoundrel. We meet at last. What do you want? Zarek Besh. They're new, rich, and lethal. You crossed their boss, Slero, and now he wants you gone. Rob his fortune and buy your freedom. This job, it's a death wish. Yes, that's Han Solo. I'm in. Out here, you live and die by your reputation. You want to survive? Know the players. Hey, you're new to this world. What's your problem? Come back when you're not. Daba, right? Look, don't try anything. I got a whole crew surrounding the. Okay, we're skipping that part. For about as long as I can remember, it's just been me and Nyx. Doing what we have to to survive. This job is my one shot at freedom. But if we're gonna pull this off, we need the right crew and the right ship. in the outer rim. So I, I have some thoughts. She's more connected than you let on, Slero. Bess is mixed up in something bigger. The outer rim is a dangerous place. Everyone is fighting for their piece of the galaxy. But all I want is to live free. So I'm gonna risk it all. Outlaws pre-order available now. Yeah, I got thoughts. Right, so first off, my thought is if you're making a game in this era, if you're making a game about outlaws, wouldn't the most interesting person to come to mind to have a game centered around be Han Solo. I mean, that's just, you know, whatever. I mean, we knew for a while now that it's going to be a female protagonist or, well, what is supposed to be a female today. I, you know, kind of, I'm going to get to that in one moment. But, like, honestly, Make a game about Han Solo if you're going to go into the outlaw region of Star Wars. That would be perfect. You would be selling millions. But no, we get this. Whatever. To be perfectly honest, I think that the gameplay itself looks alright. I think that the story that we got to see so far looks intriguing enough. But then again, it is Ubisoft. You don't own your games. And they are so, so deep entrenched with the DEI stuff. It's like unbelievable. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the actress that they scanned 
for the protagonist in this game. I just, I, I, I just, just a tad bit, maybe not, not a lot of justing going on here, but right. Um, probably. So this is probably a really good picture side by side of the actress who was scanned to portray this character and the actual character. Oof. This, so this is Umberly Gonzalez, very beautiful woman, and this is who we got. I, I mean, they changed up. I mean, that's fine. You know what? Changing up characters, it's fine. It happens. Even Stellar Blade said, yes, we have our actress that we scanned, but we still changed up some of the stuff in the face. However, in Eastern games like Stellar Blade, it is clearly still a woman being portrayed. Here, they just, you know, more chiseled, more, you know, this mm, washing between man and female, and that's what we get. Someone who's just clearly not clear, and probably, you know, who knows what the game is going to do with it. I mean, here are just a few examples that prove that... Uh, scans can actually be done of actors and it be perfectly translated into the game. Here is Cal Kestis, or over here is, of course, Star Killer, one of my favorite PlayStation 2 games. Ah, oh, I miss that era. Look, I'm really not trying to dunk on this game. I don't understand why they would choose this era and not have Han Solo in the game. I'm okay with female protagonists in games. In fact, 9 out of 10 times if there's a character creation, I will make a female to play in that game. That being said, you know, they went and scanned a beautiful actress, a beautiful actress, and then changed her up so much that it blurs the lines between male and female. Surprise, or maybe not. I just, I don't get it. But while I was looking this up, I saw the pre-order. For me, it is 110 euros for the gold edition. That is a steep price for a game that Ubisoft says you do not own. If you remember, earlier this year, Ubisoft came out and said, no, you don't own any of the games that you buy from Ubisoft. Well, guess what? I'm not going to be buying games from Ubisoft. This game, I would like to check it out because I absolutely love Star Wars, but there is no way in my mind that I'm going to be paying 110 euros, which is about the same price in dollars. Like, I don't know the going rate right now, but it is basically the same price in dollars. There is no way I am paying that much for a game that gaslights me. For a community manager going out for this game and saying that white man bad. I'm sorry, I don't respond well to things like that. Anyway, let me know down in the comments below what you think. Are you going to be checking this game out? Are you interested at all? What do you think? What are your feelings about what they did to the actress that they chose and put in the game. Let me know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications because that is the only way that YouTube knows that you are actually interested in getting my videos. Take care. Until next time.